Hey guys, Brian from Brian Bowes here. I'm just outside on a beautiful spring day photographing some of my animals and just thought I'd do a quick video showing you guys the setup that I use to photograph boas. It really works well to keep them calm and still. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about how I get boa photos and this setup makes it really easy. So we're just looking at a beautiful Barankia Columbia female boa that I'm going to photograph. You can see the beautiful colors. And you'll notice, first of all, I have these these rocks on the bottom. It's important to have a good foundation for your boa to rest on. The number one issue people often face when trying to photograph a boa is that they'll kind of freak out when you put them down on a flat surface. So you want a nice textured surface. And I found that these rocks are the perfect way to do it. These rocks are actually called Mexican river pebbles. They're available from most garden centers or landscape supply stores. I got the one to three inch diameter and they cost about 60 cents a pound. I got 60 pounds of them for about $40 with tax. So really good deal. Plenty of them for all my boa photographing needs. You can also use various other types of pebbles. I find these have a nice flat gray, mid gray color as far as the, uh, the tonality. And they're just the perfect size and most boas feel really calm and comfortable resting against them. You can also get similar pebbles at your dollar store. You can buy a bag of them for a buck. You probably need you know at least five or six bags. And those pebbles tend to be lower quality. They're often dyed black. Sometimes the black dye will get onto your boa. So these Mexican river pebbles I find are really good to use. But you can also use other types of rock of different colors. You might want to use light rock if you have a darker boa to photograph or a darker rock if you have a lighter boa to photograph, but these uh, mid-gray stones are good for most boas. Now zooming out, I put the rocks in a big sterilite tub. This is a, or no, this is actually an iris tub. It's an under the bed storage tub. It's about uh, 40 inches long, about 24 inches wide, and about six and a half inches deep. And it will hold enough rocks to photograph most medium or even large boas. Really big ones will probably need a larger container. You can see the branchia just chilling out there. But these uh, nice firm rock give the boas a nice foundation to lie upon. And they usually get pretty calm. Uh, you know, and you can just photograph them directly on the rock. Of course, many boa are not nearly as calm as this beautiful female branchia. So that's where you need some kind of hiding place. And you can see I've got a hiding place there. I use these in my enclosures, but this is actually just a oil drum or oil collection pan for changing your oil. I got it at the dollar store, cut a hole in, and it works great in the tubs, but uh, you can also use it to give your snakes a little bit of uh, comfort and calm them down when you're photographing them. You can see she's crawling into the hiding place through the small access door. And once she's in there, I'm just going to let her chill out in there for a minute, calm down, and she'll be nice and still for photographing. And there she goes, last bit of her tail, nice and slow. Now that she's nice and calm, she's ready to photograph, I'm just gently going to lift the hiding place away. And you can see, let me put this down right there. She's nice and coiled, nice and still. She's comfortable, she's not going to move, and... You can get all kinds of really good close-up shots and wide shots, side shots, things like that. Just going to take a few shots. Okay, so I got some shots. Uh, hopefully some will be nice enough to share with the viewers. But we'll just have to see. And I just finally wanted to mention I'm outside right now. I always like using natural light to photograph these animals. Just works much better, brings out their colors and contrast a lot better than indoor light. And you notice I didn't say much about technical camera information like uh, f-stop, shutter speed, ISO, things like that. Uh, I just wanted this to be a simple video. Hopefully it gave you guys some tips about how to keep your snakes calm when photographing them. I did one video a long time ago about cameras, but no one really seemed to be interested. But if you guys like this type of video, in the future I can make some more about boa photography. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your boas.